is. Okay. Well, Brenda, thrilled to have you back. We learned so much um, last week um, about your working calendar. I really love that. I, you know, it's a system that we've heard uh, variations of it before, but I like it because the, the paper moves, the, the customer yeah. literally physically moves where right. she's supposed right. to be to get her call. So I love that. And right. so, um, and your, and your Mary Kay cash and how you do that. So I think tonight we were, we want to know how to get people on these 26 items. Um, okay. so if somebody's tuning in for the first time, you got to go back and watch last week because we're not going to make her say it all over again. And, um, so tell us, Brenda, like what, what do you have in store for us tonight in terms of how you get clients on 26 products a year to take you to the national court? Okay. Okay. So we're going to continue building our 40 customer strong, the keyword being strong. So um, I did want to back up because I didn't say this last week is um, definitely um, when you're starting this and you do your, your, your posters and whatever that is, um, in all seriousness, I, and I'm, if I say, if I'm repeating myself, y'all tell me because okay. I don't know who I've told what to, but, um, seriously, I had to think of everything that would stop me from charting. That sounds crazy, but I had to think of everything that would stop me from, uh, charting my progress or putting a customer on the board so much right down to, I bought Velcro and I cut it in little strips. And I bought my markers and I Velcroed the marker to the poster because if it wasn't handy, then it would be like, oh, I'll do that tomorrow. And then tomorrow, you all know that song Garth Brooks sings. Oh, no. He says, if tomorrow never comes. Yeah. But you all know tomorrow never comes. <laughs> so and then you get behind. And once you get behind, honestly, it's so hard to play catch up. And so. Think of everything that could stop you from tracking or doing the work that you need to do. Uh, so, uh, and one thing that I also wanted to share is, and I may have said this last week as well, is um, wisdom. So, okay, information is knowledge. Okay, so this is important. Information is knowledge and wisdom is knowledge applied. And that is so important to write that down and put that up in your office because we go to all these trainings and we get all this great information and then we come home and we paid for that training, but we never apply it. And so therefore it just remains knowledge, okay? So when we're praying for wisdom, then it really is just applying what you're hearing. Um, so if y'all haven't went and purchased your stuff to start your notebook, that's like the first thing you do, like tonight or in the morning. You go first thing and buy the supplies that you need um, because and think of the things that would hold you back. Uh, so some of the tips for success that I wanted to share with you is uh, when you work this business, it works. When people say, oh, Mary Kay just didn't work for me. No, you just didn't work. Now, is it always easy? And do we get every customer that we ask for? Well, of course not. Does everybody we book as directors, do they all show up? Does everybody we book show up? No. Does everybody we recruit, re, we recruit do they stay? Mm, no. Um, do we recruit people? that never start with inventory. Mm, yeah, we do that too. So everything that happens to you all happens to us. It's just, it's as Linda Tupin has always said, and I feel like you all have probably been to a million gazillion things and it's not, uh, it's not uh, magic, it's mathematical. And so it's just that we just see more people and we've got our 10,000 hours in. Um, and we're putting another 10,000 in, and that's the way this works. So Mary Kay works if you work. Um, and so, um, 
the next thing that I think is really important, even in starting this 40 customer notebook, and I, I hope that y'all don't mind that I tell these things before, uh, because I think this is a part of the success, is uh, having a weekly schedule sheet. Now, we used to call it a plan sheet, but people aren't real good planners. And so the plan sheet is a little bit hard to think about. So if we call it a weekly schedule sheet. Now, I honestly had to really go into detail with some of my consultants. As we talked, I realized that, you know what, when we say, okay, so you're, off, let's just say you're off on uh, Wednesdays. So in the morning, you're thinking, okay, I'll, I've got all day tomorrow. So I'm going to work my Mary Kay all day tomorrow. Okay. So I'm just going to go back to one of my consultants that uh, she was off on a certain day through the week, but she has a little boy. Okay. So her little boy is four. And so I said, okay. She was like, oh, I've got all day. I can do facials all day. And I'm like, okay, but what's all day? So all day, let's, let's go in and see, do you feed him? Do you feed him breakfast? And I know this sounds really crazy, but you guys, our head tells us that it tells us we got all day. So, okay, we got the baby, we got to feed him. Okay. Then we got to clean up the mess and then get him to do whatever he's doing. So when does that start? That starts about seven or eight, and then you feed him and that takes to nine or 10 to clean up. And so then you can start looking at, okay, so you got from 10 to 11. Okay, do you feed him lunch? So I had her to take a weekly plan sheet. Okay, when do you feed him breakfast? How long does that take? Okay, so we filled in the things that she had to do. Okay, you feed him lunch, what time is that? Okay, you start supper, when is that? Okay, how long does that last? Do you clean up the dishes right then? I mean, honestly, it has to be, this detailed and so i had consultants sending me their sheets not even this good so i created this and then i realized still too much white was showing on the paper again this is crazy but it's the things your brain tells you so if you work an eight to five job this is what it really needs to look like okay but okay so you start your job starts at eight so really it's going to start up here okay seven, eight, six, whenever you get up. So this whole time, so does this make a difference where they was just not even drawing a thick line like this with an arrow, it was just a straight line. But it looked like you had a lot of white space. Does this make sense? So when I look at this, I can actually look at, so right now, really, I would take out the green. I would really take out that green for right now. And so I put in everything that has to be done. If you have uh, grandbabies that you take care, care of and you feed them and you do whatever, they have a nap time, then there's going to be some white time during your day. That's what can become green time. Does this make sense? So it really and truly has to be this detailed. So I could look at her calendar and I could say, Okay, so we'd actually take this green off because that's the time that I hold my appointments. And this was just a fake job, okay? But so I could look at her schedule. She went to church here. She had family time here. Um, then all of this white through here. So Monday would be Monday meeting or whatever night you all have your meetings. So all of the things that you know that you do that's what goes on this calendar. And then you can look to see when you can start working your business. So it has to be planned. Okay. If it's not planned, you won't do it because, okay, let's just say that, okay, tonight I had this meeting planned for seven o'clock. Typically, if my kids came over, then I would say, uh, they know at eight o'clock I have an event. Okay. But they would say, hey, mom, could you watch the kids uh, at seven o'clock to eight? I'd be like, no, because this was scheduled. So even on my days off during the day, okay, my secretary comes on Wednesdays. They know I can't babysit on Wednesdays. They Does this make sense? Because it's on my schedule. If it's not on my schedule, 
and they call and say, hey, mom, can you watch the kids? Then I feel guilty. And I will say yes, when really I do need to be in here working. Does this make sense, you guys? Because well, if you don't it, schedule it, you're working by the seat of your pants. You're just yeah. lying like, so, well, if nothing else comes up, I'll do my marriage. Exactly. Work. So here's my thought is you look and you put everything on your calendar that you truly have to do at, with, you know, whomever. And then you can look. And so what I said to her is, okay, on, so starting at 10 to 12, you could actually do a facial or you could work in your office. So what she has to do is she has to, on her planner or on her schedule, she has to write from 10 to 12 working in my office or work in my Mary Kay business. So when her friend calls and says, oh my gosh, Teresa, do you want to go shopping tomorrow? I have to go, oh my goodness. Yeah, see, Teresa would be going, heck yeah, baby, let's go. And, and she says, well, what time do you want to go? I'd say, oh, we'll leave about nine. And she'll say, oh, I have an appointment from 10 to 12. She doesn't have to explain to me what that 10 to 12 appointment is. I don't have to explain to my son what my 10 to 12 appointment is. It may be back here just catching up on paperwork. But if it's not scheduled, then I'll say, no, I don't really have anything, but I need to work. But if I know from 10 to 12, I got it on my schedule. I've already got an appointment booked. Does this make sense? So now I cannot leave my house from 10. So I could say, hey, Teresa, she says I can't go until after 12. Oh my gosh. Then I would say, well, I guess we could go about 1230. Will that work? See, then somebody's going to start working around your schedule. So from 10 to 12, there is people that would do facials at 10 in the morning. So they're ready for the day. Um, and then this is going to eliminate. So when I look at this and, and going by this, you know, going by your chart up here, then when you send your director this, she can say, okay, so you say you don't have time. So when people tell me they don't have time to work, Mary Kay, I'll say, and this could even be with a prospect, you know, well, if I could just find some time, I would love to do Mary Kay. Carrie blank sheets with you guys. Okay. And then have her to fill those out. And then you could say, oh my gosh, you got some time on Saturday. You know, if you could do an appointment uh, in a couple of hours and profit a hundred or $200, would you be willing to do that? So this is an important part of being successful and building this 30 customers or 40 customers because you got to know when you can do it. Okay. You can't just say, oh, I can do it anytime. Especially say that to people. They're going to be like, well, how good is she? If she's got all the time in the world, you want to say, oh my goodness, I could squeeze you in. Okay. Oh my goodness. I got an appointment. So today is Tuesday. I got an appointment open on Wednesday. Can you come on Wednesday? I always want to get them as soon as possible. I have like a four or five o'clock appointment, whatever. So you know when you can work, but this is important. It's also important for your family to see this. Okay. And they can see when you're working your Mary Kay. And then when your husband says, you do Mary Kay all the time. Your family says, you do Mary Kay all the time. That's all you do is Mary Kay, Mary Kay. Then you can look and you can have it colored in green or you've worked your Mary Kay business and you can put your family time. And when you have a lot of yellow. So working this business is not about balance because I don't think we're ever going to have balance, but we can have harmony. Okay. Because our head tells us a lot of things. Okay. It can tell us that we're working all the time, but it's because you're thinking it all the time. Uh, so knowing the time that you can work. Uh, so you got to plan your work. And, and then all of the, when you start making all these calls, you're going to know exactly what time you can call people and text people. Um, so when you're planning your work, starting in the morning and you go get your customer notebook and you're making your list of everybody you're going to call with phone numbers. You want to do everything that you possibly can, can that you're going to work the fastest that you can in this. Say you got two hours to work in the morning from 10 to 12, then have the phone numbers ready so you don't have to look everything up and know your script, know exactly what you're going for. You know, if you're calling them for PCP, but then you're going to turn it into a facial, always try to take and turn everything into a fa from a facial 
into a party. And so knowing what you're going to say and what you're going to do, know what your hostess plan is, everything before you sit down to make these calls because you do not want to waste these two hours. Uh, let's see. No. Oh, this is something that I loved was when I realized one day I had a consultant say to me, she was like, I just can't make this business work because I don't love Mary Kay the way you love Mary Kay. I don't, I just don't love doing the stuff you do. And I'm like, what? Okay. I don't love packing for a class. I don't love carrying all that stuff to my car. I don't love driving to a party and I don't like lugging it all in. I don't like all of those things, but I love the results that it brings me. I love that it creates customers for me that's going, I'm going to have for years. So knowing that you don't have to love, you don't have to love this charting thing, okay? You don't have to love to track people, okay? But that it's, it's okay that you don't love it all, but you love the results. You love the money, the flexibility, and the freedom that it brings you, right? So I want you all to know right now that you don't have to love everything about your dream job for it to be your dream job, okay? So uh, stay off of social media looking for new ideas. So you got your directors here and the more things you have in your brain, the more ideals you have in your brain, the more distracted you're going to become. So I would say take really and truly, you could take this idea right here and start calling previous customers because some of y'all have probably, how many of y'all been in, just raise your hand, you've been in longer than a year? Anybody less than a year on here, I guess? Okay, y'all been in less than a year, Betty? Okay, you've been in a long time. Okay, so you all have got enough work to be really honest to just keep you busy because you can start calling your customers because if you're like me, there is probably customers in your file box that you probably haven't talked to in several years, okay? Yeah, but here's what you can say to those people, okay? Because you're really embarrassed. You would never pick up the phone and call them and say, hey, this is Brenda, you're a beauty consultant. Oh, Lord, it has been since 1992 uh, <laughs> since I talked to you. But you could say, okay, because I made the mistake of cleaning out my drawer, my file drawer, and throwing people away. Cannot believe that was the dumbest thing I've ever done. But because I could have called them up and said, oh, my gosh, Susan, listen, this is Brenda Howe with Mary Kay. And guess what? You know what? You probably don't even remember me. But you was at a facial of um, Teresa's back in 2001. And you know what? I have not talked to you in so long. And you probably, are you even still using Mary Kay? So go into, are you even still using Mary Kay? Oh my gosh, do you have a consultant? Okay, well, you know what? Keep using Mary Kay, but I want you to know I am back and I am updating my system and I'm going to be the best Mary Kay consultant and I'm going to be in this till I die. So if Susan <laughs> Kilfinley quits Mary Kay, you call me back. But if not, Susan, so she's not, you know, don't have a consultant. See, I've got all these people that I could say, oh my gosh, Susan, listen, it has been since 2001 and you was at Teresa's party and I just, I have kept your file forever. And I don't even know if you would consider giving me another chance or not, but I'm updating my system and I'm going to start being the best consultant ever. And I am offering all of my former customers, I'm offering them a welcome back, a $10 welcome back coupon. If you would be willing to uh, just try some new Mary Kay, would there be any reason you wouldn't give me a chance again? See, I've still got your profile card and I love you. I, I just couldn't throw you away. <laughs> you know so and just see I mean they may say heck no I never want to try Mary Kay again whatever but that's how and because you know how awful it is to follow up with people but if you let them know that you know what I've kept your profile card because I just couldn't I was embarrassed honestly I was just embarrassed to call you after it'd been six months I, I was embarrassed to call so you those of you that has been in a while you could actually go and you could start calling 
your previous customers that you have not talked to. And I would dare say, talk to the ones that it's been the longest because it's the hardest. Just get it out of the way. Okay. So um, let's see. Uh, but stay off of social media. You don't need to, you don't need new ideas of how to get people. I think all of you all have been in long enough that you know how to get people. Um, because the confused mind shuts down. Um, having a goal. Okay, so we want 40 customers, which is one a week. Seriously, it's just one a week. But I always tell my girls to have a, the face race where you do 100 faces. Now, this is just if you want to, okay? But if you have a 100 face race uh, to complete that in 90 days, that actually breaks down to just seeing, like calling 10 people a week. Okay, so 100 faces and you want a facial 10 people a week. So if you break it down like that, that could just be two parties a week. Okay, uh, and, and you can be the hostess. So you could have five friends over at one time. It doesn't always have to be that it's a hostess. You can be the hostess. Uh, so having a goal with the deadline. Um, and so, again, knowing your script of what you're going to say, uh, knowing your hostess plan, and the biggest thing is just to learn to enjoy the journey, okay? Because if you just wake up every day knowing that you're going to be in Mary Kay for life, then just make it the best day. You know, if you want to call one per person and you feel good about it, then that's what's important. That's what's important to me. And that's what's important to your director that you love Mary Kay, okay? So, but having a goal of how many people you want to see a day um, and then that's got, I think the, the journey is going to be a lot more fun. Okay. And the journey is holding facials and parties because nothing happens in Mary Kay until somebody sells something. Um, so let's see, knowing your booking script, let's see now let's talk about, um, building the relationship with your customers. Okay. So building a strong customer. And how do we get those people on those 40 or on those 26 items? So I think what we do, the, the whole reason we want to have a facial is to build a relationship with that customer. Because my goal is I never want this customer to leave me. Okay. Um, I, I want to do everything in my power that she never leaves me because I don't want to have to keep giving away free money and free product just to get people new customers. Okay. So, um, how am I going to do that? That is going to come from, again, how, holding the facial with her and asking her this question, what do I need to do to get all your cosmetic business? I think if you could get in the habit of saying, oh my gosh, you know what? I am not here for a one-time sale. I am here for a lifelong customer. And what would I need to know or what would I need to do to get all your cosmetic business? Because today, seriously, I am here and through this facial, I want to meet your needs. I don't want this to be about me and me making money. And of course, I'm working on my model portfolio and I thank you for coming and being my model. And of course, I love, I want you to be my customer and I want you to, to, to love Mary Kay. Uh, but tonight is, you know, I've asked them here to be a model portfolio in my model portfolio. So they're under, I always say you're under no obligation to buy anything, but in case you're tempted, you do get $10 free from me just for being my model. And so as we go through this, I just want to know what do I need to do to get all your cosmetic business. And then, then um, so as we go through and we talk, then asking her in the beginning, you know, I had a girl that came over here yesterday and um, didn't, I thought I was going to have time for a facial, but she didn't really have time for a facial. And she has even been a Mary Kay consultant before, but she doesn't use any skincare. Like she just does it. And I'm like going, and I didn't go, oh my gosh, you are kidding. You know, I didn't want to make anybody. I mean, it's your first thought of like, oh my gosh. Who could not want to use skincare? But some people just don't, and that's okay. So, you know, tell me some things that maybe, so I do have this other little sheet. Uh, it's a survey 
and you could let her fill that out if you wanted to. And actually, I've just listed all of the 26 items. I just put um, cleanser, a moisturizer, uh, scrub, uh, foundation, foundation primer, just these items. But it's not that it has to be Mary Kay. When she's going through, because we're just having our facial together, I really want to see what daily products that she does use. Okay, because we got people and I can send you this list, but you have customers that seriously, some are just going to use the bare minimum and some is never going to use skincare, no matter how bad you tell them they need it or when they look in the mirror, they should know they need it. But so that's the thing is let's do this little survey and it's going to look, I can send this to Susan and it's yeah. just, I mean, really just asking her question like, um, because here's what I found, learning to ask your customers, you know, what's the best uh, customer service you've ever had? And I'll tell her mine like, okay, like I have earned 14 pink Cadillacs with Mary Kay. And for years, I picked up my pink Cadillac at one dealership. And then they switched me to another dealership in Lexington, which was over an hour away. And I didn't really want to drive an hour away to get my vehicle. But when I got there, the guy was so nice to me. And do you know, he would just randomly call me. Never had anybody to do this, but randomly through the year. Now, for those of you that don't know, when you earn a Mary Kay car, Mary Kay just pays this dealership. Like they don't sell us the car. They are just the person that delivers it for us and cleans it up and gets it ready for us. Okay. So they're just the delivery people. I'm sure Mary Kay pays them a fee to do that, but they don't buy, you know, we don't buy the vehicle from them. But do you know, this guy called me often. He would just call and say, Hey, I was just checking in on you to see if you had any questions about your car. And do you know how the, the buttons work? And do you know this? And I'm like going, Oh my gosh, do you know what, when his name would call it, because I actually had him in my phone and when his name would come up on caller ID, I wouldn't go, oh my gosh, he's trying to sell me something. I was like, oh my gosh, I would answer him and he'd say, hey, just checking in on you. And I'd be thinking, this guy ain't even trying to sell me anything. So then I finally realized, wow, if people know we care about them, it's not going to look like a sales call. Does that make sense? Yeah. So when we start taking care of the people that we did work hard to get, then it's not going to look like, oh my gosh, I'm, uh, she is bugging the crap out of me. Okay. Because you start when you create value in yourself and what you do and you, then people's going to want what you have when you create value in you. Okay. So why does she need to see you every two to three months? For one thing, you got product that she loves. Okay. She, you know what she loves. So you're going to start to find out what she loves um and then you're going to you know you're going to want to help her seasonally you're going to check in and make sure that her skincare is working you don't want these people just buying stuff and sticking it under their counter and never using it hey as hard as it is to say listen if you don't like that bring that back to me you know i don't want you keeping something you don't like honest to gosh i am not kidding you i will tell my customers when they get to the end of this moisturizer, I say, cut that lid off, cut the top of this off. And you know what? There's about three days worth of product in here. And I say, I know Mary Kay will never let me make an ad for them because I know it sounds cheap, but listen, I tell you all what I'm doing. So I tell my customers, I want to save you money as much as I want to save myself money. So cut that off. That'll be about three or four more days worth of product for you. And so I want them to know that I care about them and their money. Okay. And so... And then when we did this little survey and we begin to, begin to find out, okay, so, okay, she didn't, she didn't write down some of these things, okay, that I want her to buy. And I'll be like, hmm, have you, listen, I noticed that uh, a lot of women use foundation primer. Uh, Susan, do you just not use foundation primer or have you ever tried it? Right. So I got to find out. Why does she not use it? Okay. I was just curious, you know, would you not take, you know, oh, I've never tried it. Well, you know what? Gosh, Amati, this holds your foundation on like 
eight hours longer, 12 hours, 25. I don't even know. It's a long time. But anyway, so it holds your foundation on. It actually, it, it, it's going to make you look like a movie star. Okay. <laughs> but seriously, it fills in cracks and crevices. Like it helps your pores. Like before you paint your wall and you put that spackle on, you fill in those holes. That's what primer is like. So it's actually going to help your skin to look smoother, your foundation is going to wear longer uh so it's like a magnet for it to hold you know to hold it on so if i gave you a sample would you be willing to try it and tell me what you think okay so that's kind of the way it goes with every single item that she's not buying okay and even the things that so i have a list of things but you might even say you know what you may use some items that's not even on that list write those on there for me okay and so this is just taking the time to do this even before the facial it's going to take a few minutes you might even have her to fill this out instead of the profile card and then you go back and do the profile card yourself but this is just important to find out does she use it why she you know why does she not use a product and then if i gave you a sample would you be willing to try it okay so when you give her samples again we talked about this last week this is where the notebook comes in that, okay, I gave her samples of primer and I'm gonna try, let her try it for two or three days. And then I'm gonna say, okay, Teresa, I'm gonna give you, I'll give you a couple of packs of, of this foundation primer. Uh, there's probably enough in here that it may even last you all week, okay? Uh, but I want you to do the right side only. Don't do your whole face and see if you notice how your foundation wears. And especially if she's not on skincare. If she is not on skincare, you guys give her two or three packs, enough to even last her a week and then say, or squirt it out. I mean, instead of giving her packs, just get them little round jars and, and squirt it out and say, here's enough to do you. I mean, do you know that one of them little bitty tiny round jars that I actually uh, filled up one of those just to see how long a charcoal mask would last in there? Do you want to know how many applications of charcoal mask was in that when I actually went back and used it? It was about four, I mean, there's a lot of product will go in them little jars. So instead of giving packets, if you're gonna let her try it for three or four days, just put it in those little jars. Um, instead of buying the packets, whatever you wanna do, that's gonna work. It doesn't matter as long as you get this stuff in their hands. So every single thing, but don't let her wash her whole face. At a facial, I only let them wash half of their face. They only microderm half of their face. They do everything all the way up until foundation. Even foundation primer only goes on half of their face because you have to make them a believer. And when they use it, then they see the difference. I don't even have to sell it when I'm done. I'm like, can you tell the difference in the side of your face we did and the side you didn't do? You guys, seriously, half a face. So when you're sending her home with this, she only does half of her face with this product for a week. Maybe she's got a foundation primer or she's got another skincare product that she loves. Then say, hey, would you be willing to try my moisture, my cleanser and moisturizer for a few days versus your side to see the difference? Okay. Um, let's see. Let me look at my notes here. So that's, that's how you get them on 26 things. It's yeah. just that just talking to them about these products, if they yeah. don't use them, you give them a sample. Yeah. And that's, it's that and simple. Again, not everybody is going to, not everybody's going to buy it all. Okay. But it's my goal with every single customer. So it's not that you should just facial one person a week and hopes to get one customer that buys all this. But the good part of this is is you guys, there is so many more products now than even when I started this, that cost a lot more money than several of these items that if she didn't buy, that clinical solutions could replace that total. Does that make sense? But my goal is still to get her on all these items, but to know there's gonna be some things that they buy. And once they trust you and love you, then guess what? Christmas presents, they're going to want their mom to have. They're going to want their daughters to have it. Like I've got one new customer. I haven't even facialed her yet. Um, and she's a teacher. And so I got her her some stuff for her daughter because her skin was breaking out. But it, 
in, in her bag, I said, hey, would you like to try some skincare? Well, she's loved it. So she's bought this and that. And she's like, oh my gosh, like I'm making a list now because I check back and say, hey, did you try the skincare? How's this? How's the clear proof working for your daughter? We mixed and matched some things. Uh, did you try the skincare? What do you think about it? Oh yes, I love it. I am making my Christmas list now. And so I want to get my mom some of this. And so you guys, I'm honestly in the last this past year, um, I've had some of the biggest facials that I've ever had in my Mary Kay career. Um, and it is, you know, before Mary, uh, before Mary Kay, before I wasn't talking to people about time wise repair, to be really honest, I had in my brain like, oh, a 20 year old is not going to want to pay $205 for a set. Guess what? I lost some of my 30 ish customers because to another brand that is double our price and but it was my fault and you want to know why it was my fault because I told them about 3D and they was faithful users of the 3D but another brand come along that's been out there R RNF y'all know who it is RNF yeah RNF um and so it's like there was they was using the same thing that was equal to repair. And it was my fault because I didn't tell them about repair. Well, you can bet you now, whoever sits down at my table, I'm going to say we have different sets. I have one that is for, uh, it is the Mac Daddy. This is for advanced signs of aging. You can start with that one if you wish. I don't say this is for older people because there is girls, you know, I mean, but my head said, oh, that's for 40s. And, but I had my niece that was 20-something years old that loved repair because she loved what it was doing for scarring. And that was because of the retinol that was in it that I didn't know anything about until we got clinical solutions. The retinol was making a difference in her acne or her scarring and stuff. And so now I talk about repair. So it's all in talking about what their needs are. I say, so I have 3D and I have the retinol. And I'm like, which would you want to try? Instead of me just assuming, okay? I used to do a lot of assuming, to be really honest. And now I'm like, would you want to try this? Or do you want to try this? It is totally up to you, whatever you want to try. You and call it so, volume firm now after hearing Liz Whitehouse talk about that at retreat. You call it volume firm instead of repair. Did you remember her saying that, you guys? Oh, Teresa, I didn't you did that. that. You had a big party with like I how did. many people? I and, did. And that's and, all we did was repair by your firm. And that's all I talked about. And even though they knew there were other lines, I really didn't even, we just, I, we, I, I did exactly what you said. I said, this is the primo top of the line, best we have. And that's what I want you all to try tonight. This is every, this is what everybody see. And that's the words we have to learn to say is this is what most women choose that want all of that, you know, anti-aging. They want the collagen booster. Collagen being the key word is you guys. And that's what society is selling them. They're all about going and getting everything fixed. And I'm about telling them that Mary Kay is Mary Kay is developing products so we don't have to have the dermatological procedures. They're creating products so that we can take care of our skin at home. Okay. And so you can have a spa in your home. You don't even have to go to the spa. And so I know there's some, there's some directors out there even that talk about going and get professional facials. And I'm like, what the world are you talking about? <laughs> I am a professional and I have professional products. Uh, because I truly believe that, you know, I don't think you have to go to the spas to get this. I have a top of the line product. And so, and people see results with mine, you know, and the great thing about me is I'm a hundred percent guarantee. And so I, and the, the best thing about Mary Kay is me. They get me. Okay. And I deliver for free. I stock their products uh, whenever they have a special occasion. I will do their makeup and I won't charge my customers, you know? So um, let me see what other thing that I want to tell you all. And y'all can ask real, me questions. I guess just real quick, because we're, we're going to have to wrap up here in a bit, but Brenda, like, then you just chart it. You chart how many they've used and then it 
just just up on your big poster and you can kind of see I mean is it it seems like a simple system and I I'm yeah. laughing at all like where you're saying well I got to figure out what's going to trip me up and give me an excuse not to do it I mean that that's perfect yeah. have your script have your phone numbers velcro your marker yeah. um no I your mean, host seriously you would be mm -hmm. that's why honestly I had to get I had to get this chart. Okay, so originally, this was my original thing, and it folded over and it went in my notebook. But guess what? Again, it was out when that notebook was closed. I forgot about those customers. And, you know, I could flip past that first page. I could just flip over to November the, the 16th, and I would just be, but it's on my wall. It's a big poster on my wall. And that Velcro was on there with my marker. And Stacy Waddell, she is on here. She can tell you, come in my office and you will see my, well, my, it's not on there right now because I've had it down from Fraud Retreat and talking to you all. And so it's not back on the wall yet. But seriously, I truly believe that you could work, you could work this business and focus on getting one good customer a week. Now, do I say focus just on one? No, but if you did, that. That, that could be very re rewarding um, because my job is with her. I want to coddle her. I want to find out her needs. I want to do everything in my power that I get a good customer from her because honestly, I believe when she becomes a good customer, then her friends, she's going to tell her friends about me. She's going to want her mom to see me uh, or buy from me. If nothing else, they'll be buying product from me. And and then all of a sudden it's like, wow, the Lord has sent me some amazing customers. But if we do our job and we do it right, we stock our product, we have our products on time. And, and it doesn't have to be. I mean, I honestly think that a woman working a 50 and 60 hour week job could do what I'm telling you right now, because what I'm telling you is not a lie. I mean, it is not made up. This, you chart 40 customers, buying these 26 items and giving her, you know, just some discounts here and there. I mean, instead of 20,000, which is half of 40, it's going to be about 16. But then you got to remember, she's buying those things back at full retail. So you may give it to her one time at a discount and, and don't go discounting your products. You guys don't discount everything other than we're giving some samples. We may give a discount here to get her on. But once she's on it, don't think you have to give these big discounts all the time. You know, Walmart don't even let their employees, everybody in their family don't get to use their discount card, okay? In fact, they would probably lose their job for letting everybody have their discount. So, um, but it, it really is, you got to facial them. So people that you have that your customers and you've not seen them in a long time, what do, would it offend you? So what I'm asking you to do, I want you to think about, would it offend me if somebody said, oh my gosh, Susan, I would love to, I, I would love to just come and give you, um, uh, what facial would I call it? Lord, my brain just went dead. Uh, but I would just love to give you a well. So somebody I haven't seen in a while, I would love to give you a welcome back facial or a customer that is my customer and she's guessing at her foundation is, oh my gosh, we should have a, you should let me come over and we could just, I can match you up and get your perfect shade of foundation because you know what? We got 900 different colors and we can match your foundation. Not really 900. Okay. But there's a lot of colors, but I would love to get your, 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 your best shade of foundation. I would love to get your perfect match. And so, you know, I love to do that with all of my customers because I want you to love your foundation. I want you to love how it feels. I want you to love how it looks. And so, you know, would it be okay if maybe we just took 15 minutes? Can I just stop by? Because this is just a gift that, that I give to all my customers. So you just talk about you're a gift. Okay. You're a gift. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm your gift. OK, I want you to have that perfect match so you can come by my house. You can stop by or I'll stop by yours. Uh, I'm coming that way tomorrow. She might be 30 miles from you, but you know what? I'm coming that way tomorrow and I would love to stop by because guess what? If I stop in to give her a perfect match, guess what she's going to do? 
time more from. What are y'all uh, thinking? She's going to wash her face with my product to get that uh, old makeup off. Okay. So we're going to wash with, and if we got 15 minutes, I'm like, oh my gosh, we got 15 minutes. This won't take long. You got to feel this microderm. You have never tried my microderm, have you? Oh, you're going to love this. So just wash this right side with water only because we need to get that foundation off. So wash with water only. I have a little bow. I use my little bows. They're my little, uh, what are they called? What's your little plastic bows? Not whatever you know what just plastic deep bows what are those bows with the lids you buy at the store everywhere no cheap <laughs> cheap butter bowls <laughs> clear uh made. rubber yeah. made rubber made okay. rubber made but you go to the dollar tree they're not rubber made <laughs> you can get like two for a dollar and they're just bowls that i can get about this much water in and they just, it's their sink for the day. And that's what I tell them. So I have my little bowl, we get hot water in it. And it's their sink because the, the goal is I can't let people up from the table. If I let, especially if I'm doing a party, I've used bowls for years, that's their sink. Because if they get up, they go smoke, they go talk on their cell phone. I lose 10 minutes, 15 minutes of my party. So they get a bowl of water and they're in their seat. I don't let them up, okay? And so I wash her face. So I'm like going, okay, I cannot wait to match your foundation. But let's wash this off. So take this washcloth and wash with water only. I want you to see the difference of how much better your makeup's gonna look and feel when we're done. Okay, now everything else we're gonna do to the right side only. So wash this face off really quick. This is our cleanser, this does it a little off. Okay, oh my gosh, and I am gonna let you try microderm because it looks like you got a little bit of dead skin around here. So try this you're gonna rub this on. Typically you're gonna do this for about two minutes, but we're not gonna do it for two minutes today. And I'm doing what I want her to do. Okay, so we're rubbing this around and around and and then she washes that off. We put the poor minimizer on. Feels good, great, doesn't it? Okay, it's feeling a little, probably feel a little burning right now, but this poor minimizer is going to soften, season smooth skin. It's going to feel great when we're done. Okay, she puts that on. Now, typically, uh, this is, uh, even though it's evening, it's seven o'clock in the evening, and it's dark. It's not dark at my house. <laughs> There's the key. You're going to put day on because it's always day at my house. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway. Uh, put this moisturizer on. Feels great, doesn't it? Now, this is your eye cream. I'm going to put it on here. Okay, now I'm going to match your foundation. Okay, so I'm going to set this on. Now, while this foundation's oxidizing, because here's the thing. With this foundation, when you put it straight on your skin, it's going to look like chalk. Okay, it's going to look like it's way too light for you, but it's got to oxidize with your skin. And then we should have the perfect match. When it blends in and you don't see it, we got the perfect match. So, but now I'm telling you when we first put this on, so these are the things that I'm telling her is gonna happen. When you put this on, it's gonna look really too dry, okay? Or too too light. So we're gonna put it on and when it oxidizes, it's gonna get darker. And then I'm gonna whip out my face, foundation primer here put a little bit of this foundation primer on because this is going to help it to go on stay on longer and fill in the holes blah blah but don't put it on your left side because I want you to see and feel the difference now okay so we're going to put this foundation on now again I'm talking to her like and I whip out my foundation brush like oh you're gonna love this brush only $14 it's kind of like the girl gets her nails done only $40 more okay so <laughs> um you know, when you go get your nails done, it's like, would you like long nail or short nail? Okay, long nails, they only cost a dollar more. Okay, so this foundation brush makes it look more like airbrush finish when you're using the primer with it. It's 14 bucks. You will love this brush. Plus, you won't even use as much product. And so we start putting this on. And I'll say, typically, I start in the center. So I'm telling her how and why. For those of you, Teresa, you and uh, Susan probably saw John Maxwell, the makeup artist. Oh, yeah. Do y'all see him? Okay. Remember how he taught us? So I learned this like almost 30 years ago that he said, you always have to tell your customers how to use it and why they need it. And so that's always been my thought is I got to tell her how to use it and why she needs it. And so the foundation, I start in the center, I blend it and I let it sit in and I'm like, see, see how light it looked before uh, you thought it wasn't going to match. And then she's like going, oh yeah. So I don't even know why I told y'all all that stuff. Why did I tell y'all all that? Was there a reason? <laughs> because it just comes out, out of you. And I think that's what we love about you, Brenda, is you, you people will watch you and go, I can't do what she does. But you've done it so many times.
hours and you just thousand hours exactly ten thousand hours and so that just shows that it just once you start talking about doing a facial or doing a party you're in the yeah. you're in the zone yeah <laughs> and you're and you gotta you, you gotta know i mean going. seriously I like i'll have this brush and i'll be blending it on their face and i'm like going and honest to gosh you guys like I'll say, can you hear the difference on the side we did versus the side we didn't do? And like, you can hear it. Like this side, you don't hear anything. It's going on so smooth, but over here it's going. <laughs> I promise, try it. You'll hear it. You'll see it, feel it. Do your own face and don't wash it the right way. And you'll hear how this, I mean, it's just crazy. I just don't know how people don't use the skincare. It's crazy. So, but everything I want her to buy, I'm using on her. This brush, I'm using it on her. Okay, so you all got to invest. You got to invest in yourself. If you had another business, you would invest money in that business to get yourself going. And some, I mean, forever I use sponges. Get rid of those dang things. You don't sell them. Anyway, we do sell sponges, but I don't even like them. I like these brushes <laughs> because it makes a difference. Okay, and so, but I truly believe that when you do this and you, you book her, you do the facial and if nothing else, when you start asking people, I want you to think about how you're going to bless her. In all honesty, do you think you're a fun person to be around? Do you think you have something great to offer? If you don't, then you need to start telling yourself this. You need to start saying, hey, Mary Kay is the best and I'm the best. The biggest thing is because, listen, I'm willing to deliver. I'm willing to keep her products in stock. I'm willing to help her with her makeup. I'm willing to teach her everything she wants to know. And so... Oh my gosh, I got to go. It is 7.57 and I got to wash my face to start all over. <laughs> if y'all want me back next week, we can come back for questions, uh, but you may be done with me. You may be tired. I'm not of tired of you. Uh, I think that might be fun. It's just a Q&A with Brenda. Would you yeah. be willing okay, to do so one more? Next week, here's what I told the last director I worked with. We'll keep doing it until we don't. <laughs> okay, awesome. You're funny. We'll keep doing it until we don't. We and then- it's okay if you don't message me and say anything. If you don't message me, I'll know you're done. And, but that's the best way I found it. Let's just do it until we don't. And then I've been inviting my unit on here. Cool. I'm not sure if that Shannon B is my Shannon B. I hope it is. I see Stacy. So listen, Stacy is, uh, uh, so like Stacy can honestly tell you, Stacy Waddell, she was here helping me to create this. In all honesty, she has been here helping me create it. And uh, back two or three years ago. So, okay, I got two minutes to wash my face. I'll just go, I'll just do what everybody else does. I'll just put another layer of foundation on. <laughs> you look beautiful. I gotta, Brenda, I gotta get thank these you, eyes honey. off so I can do it again. The, these are good things. This, there's a lot of good basic meat and potatoes in your training. And I love that. And I love that you do it the Mary Kay way, the way you were taught and you've just tweaked it to work for you and for so many of us that are just like you. Cause I'm like squirrel. Oh, wait a minute. What was I doing? I need okay. to have those systems. So yeah. And if you, you don't, honestly, if you don't have this notebook, you really will. You'll wake up in the morning and go, Oh, I mean, I've had consultants say, if I went full time, what would I do? And I'm like, when you start doing this, you will have something to do. If you follow up with your customers, oh my gosh, their birthdays is going to go in this file. You no longer have to have a birthday file because guess what? Right. You will make up a sheet for her that'll go over somewhere in here where her birthday is. Does that make sense? So she's going to never leave your site. She might for a few weeks, but she'll pop right back up. Okay. All righty. All right. I love you. Brenda, thank you. you. Thanks, everybody, for giving us an hour. I love it. We love you, Brenda. Right, Brenda. I'll see you next week. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye.